Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your January 2020, 2021 monthly love reading. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note that this is a general message. So what that means for you is this message is going to come through as one big storyline, is individual messages. Vice versa, back, backwards, crisscross, cross watchers are welcome, but please do note that my main focus will be on my beautiful Geminis. Please do not try to make anything fit. This just does not. Feel free to check your other planetary placements. If you're unsure or unaware what those are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you find all that information out. Last but not least, if you're looking for information on how to book a reading with me you know, or how to connect with me on my social medias, that information is also in the description box down below. So Gemini, without any further ado, we're going to get right into your reading. As you can see, the cards have all been laid out because I got to the very end and my system crashed and your video is lost. So that being stated, I'm going to walk back through everything um, and go over these messages with you. This is a very important reading, so I just didn't want to scrap it. So we're going to start with the wisdom of the Oracle card that came through for you guys. It's card number 38. And it is to be fair. This is your love and romance message. As soon as I find the right page. I didn't mean to have. Oops, there we go. All right. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking. For understanding as well as Asking to be understood. There is much to be learned, and you will learn it if you remain open and objective. Weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is the one in which there is mutual benefit, and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. So this is about remaining open, open-minded, open-hearted, um, non-judgmental safe kind of space kind of energy you know stepping outside maybe your even your comfort zone and allowing you know to see things from other perspectives not saying immediately that the person's going to be right and you're going to be wrong but just allowing the possibilities i like to call this um area the the gray area right not black not white but the gray area allow for that um kind of just be open to those possibilities at this time is what you're being guided to um, do and the your relationships moving forward okay so the next messages we come through is actually with the the oracle cards and i pulled for three collectives within the gemini collective i pulled for singles looking for new love i and no exes i pulled for my gemini couples and current partnership and then i pulled for my gemini's looking for reconciliation reconnection or information about an ex that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, Gemini singles first, oracles, and then the couples, and then the reconciliation. Okay, so my beautiful Geminis, you came through in your heart space with solitary, withdrawn, lonesome, single. At the bottom of the deck was the masculine energy card. So this tells me not only are you open and receptive towards love, that you're single, you're ready to mingle, you're ready to actually take action. Right, so you guys may be a little bit in the masculine energy, regardless of whether you're here as a female or a male. You're embodying that masculine energy, ready to roar and ready to go when it comes to love. Um, I'm also getting with that card for some of you, not all of you, that you may have your eye on someone very particular. Okay, and with that, we're getting attraction from the romance angels. I'm gonna hold this up here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this is about living in the moment, not being focused no more on the past, no focusing on the future, just taking each moment and enjoying it as it arrives. Um, this, enjoying who you are, finding your self-worth, your righteousness, that kind of things, your value, just loving yourself will make you attract the right kind of person in. And then we have a time to give rather than to take. That's the balance within a relationship. So right now, you may be connecting with somebody who may need a little bit more attention and focus um, expression than what you do to feel comfortable. It doesn't mean that you don't need those things. And as long as your partner is supplying those things, 
um, you just may need to give a little bit more of that to your person when you first get together. I'm feeling like this is more like reassurance. New moon in Virgo. Some of you may be connecting with the Virgo. If you're not, do not worry. Um, just take it. If you are, take it as a synchronicity. With this card also came red flag and marriage at the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to cover that real quick, but I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Some of you may be coming from a situation where you were involved with somebody who either had a girlfriend or a boyfriend, a fiance, or was married. Um, and they hid this fact, but you had a kind of an inkling. And so you may be coming out of that situation or the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with in the near future also may have been dealing with that situation, which may explain why they may need a little bit more reassurance at, at, in the beginning of your relationship. Um, so patience will be a virtue. Others of you, if you have your eye on a certain somebody, but you're feeling like there's something amiss, that you're seeing kind of red flags, warnings, you know that your person is connected to another person. So they have a significant other, whether they're the boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, or they're married, husband, wife, there is somebody else in the picture. They're not released from that commitment um, so that you're aware. Again, that's not going to apply to everybody. And those of you that does, you knew it right away because it just was like that. Okay, so my couples. We have upheaval, the shock, the unexpected, the trouble. Bottom of the deck, we had closure, finality, goodbyes, uh, closure. So we also have new love, a new person has a surge of romantic feelings, and a win-win outcome is forecasted. So the message here um, for the for you guys is um, a lot of you. I see an ending here with this relationship. Okay. Um, a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements, a lot of hurt and pains and feelings of betrayal. Um, it was unexpected. Some of you may have learned that your person who had somebody new, third party situation kind of energy, and this has created, you know, an obstacle, or you've had a very troubled, turbulent marriage commitment. We're talking something that's over, you know, a few months. We're talking upwards of a year or more long study relationships, marriage engagements, where this has just kind of been gotten turbulent and out of control. And you may be a met somebody else and wanting to communicate because we have also with this card was express your love, um, which or express your, your feelings, which could also mean express your love. So if you met somebody new in the course of while this is wrapping up and you're wondering whether or not it's, it's safe for you to express it, you're being guided to can, um, this could be the one I've also seen that. Um, for others of you, if this is a situation where your partner was stepping out and you found out they had a new love, a new person, and it's you, you this is this is you're being ex being guided to express yourself, whether this is feelings of happiness, anger, sadness, hurt, pain, love, express yourself. It's your feelings; they're yours to own. Don't be afraid of expressing your feelings. You have a right to them. But no, regardless of your situation. Um, for my beautiful couples, you have a win-win outcome. So uh, full moon in Libra, Libra energy. Some of you may be connecting with the Libra. If you are, take it as a sign of synchronicity. If, if, if you're not, no, this is about balance. So regardless of how turbulent the situation, things are going to stabilize and there is going to be balance. Some of you, if this, you know, you may end up, you know, coming out of this hard, difficult situation where your person may have stepped out, cheated, whatever that's scenario is for you and you're going to end up meeting somebody incredible somebody new something unexpected and it's going to be filled with love and happiness and joy and it's going so you're going to feel like you won in the situation regardless of of the, how that current your current situation is all right and for those of you and wanting reconciliation seeking reconciliation we have unspoken regrets last words disappointment and confusion with love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have hold your vision here as well. And I'm pretty sure it's at the bottom of the deck. Yep, and step out of your comfort zone. Um, I think it's the bottom of the deck here. True love, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. If you're in reconciliation, I feel like there's broken communication or no communication at all. I do feel like hot and cold, 
um, flashes here. So what this is telling me is like Katy Perry, they're hot and then they're cold. They're yes and then they're no. I'm sorry, I can't sing, but um, this is somebody who can't seem to make up their mind. They're sending, sending you mixed signals, right? You feel like they, they, they return your feelings for you. You feel like there's going to be um, movement headway made in this relationship and then it's you're ghosted they stop talking they distance themselves okay the bottom of the deck um for the for the unspoken confusion there was also sidetracked and delayed so this is telling me that you're not losing your mind you are getting mixed signals because there is a blockage in in place here and the reason why the blockage is in place is because this person has something that they have to resolve within themselves before they can come back together with you. And I know that's frustrating, but with hold your vision, spirit's telling you just because it's not happening right now does not mean that it's not going to happen at all. Hold on to your vision. Okay. Um, hold on to this, but at the same time, step out of your comfort zone. And the message with that is plain and simple. They say it like this. It's kind of like the definition of insanity. If you keep doing and repeating the same things you've always done, you will keep getting the same results. By stepping out of your comfort zone, it will be un uncomfortable. Severely uncomfortable because let's face it, change is not comfortable. So stepping out of your comfort zone, doing something different, trying something new, it's going to benefit you. And it's going to yield you a different response. If you do what you've always done, you will always get what you've gotten. You do something new, you have a better chance of a different outcome. And that's what you're being guided to right now is to step out of your comfort zone, do something different, radical and new. Yes, hold on to your vision, but remember to love and respect and honor yourself first. You do not need this person to give you the love that you're seeking from them. You that All that love comes from within. Pour it. Pour it into your heart from within yourself because that is the truest form of love that you can really embrace. And know that this there is true love in your life. It starts with you. All right. So that being stated, we're going to jump into the tarot. When I say past, it could be last week, last month, last year, two years ago, five years ago, 10, 20, 25, 50. It's going to be different for all of you. Same with present and future. It could be today, tomorrow, last week, last month, last year two weeks in the future, it's all going to depend on where you are in your journey because everybody, this is a collective read, is someplace different. So take that into consideration when determining what messages are for you and what is meant for somebody else. Okay, so that's saying Gemini. Let's get into this, okay? Let me try to fix this a little bit. All right, so... In the past position, you're coming through as the Two of Swords with the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles. And what I felt with this is, in the past, you were at a crossroads. You were trying to make a decision. I feel like you were moving in silence. There was secrets. There was things that were hidden. There was things that you were not saying or you you were not alluding to or allowing this person to know. Um, I do feel like, I, when I feel like the Six of Pentacles, there's a lack of stability here, a lack of balance. I do feel like my Geminis and Crosswatcher feel free to swap the roles if it resonates better. But for Gemini, I feel like you poured your heart. I mean, I feel a lot of warmth pouring from my heart into this connection, this person, this romance, this, this thing that you were really invested in, this person. Okay, I feel like this outpouring, like a constant stream. But what I'm being met with is cold air. So I don't feel like this person truly gave back to you what you were putting as much as you were putting in. They are coming through as the king of wands with the seven of wands um, over, over there. So what this is telling me, this king of wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You could be connecting with a fire sign. You do not have to be. The king of wands energy is of somebody who is wildly passionate and driven, goal-oriented, well-spoken, intelligent. Um, they are feisty and determined and passionate and and almost reckless to the sense of they, they know what they want and they go get it. They're leaders. They're not followers. Somebody who doesn't follow the rules. They're rule breakers. 
Um, they have a lot, there's a lot of madness within their methods that a lot of people don't understand. It makes sense to them, but not to other people on how they accomplish things. They're very goal oriented and very passionate because of that. Okay. The king of wands can unintentionally be very selfish and self-focused because they are so goal oriented and so focused on, on achievement that they kind of lose sight of everything else around them because it's more about what they're going to accomplish their goals. Now, I'm not saying that every, you know, fire sign out there is like that. No, this is like a, the best and the worst of the traits of the King of Wands, okay? But with this particular element, I do feel that selfishness in place, okay? And I also feel like they were had blocked communication, so I don't feel like you really knew where you stood with this person. Some of you, they may have been blocking you, and at the bottom of the deck was the Page of Swords, which says my spy card. So for some of you, this person had you blocked with communication, but was spying on you, which is kind of creepy, to be honest with you, okay? Otherwise, if they were not spying on you and there was not blocked communication, there were still blocked um, emotions. This person was cold and distant. Again, not returning that same level of love that you were inpouring into the connection, Gemini. And with the Page of Swords, there was a truth and honesty and lack of integrity on this person's behalf. I do feel like you guys were dealing with somebody very narcissistic in nature, very self-focused because between you is the five of swords. What is that? That is somebody who is narcissistic, who makes decisions based off their best interests, their best goals without taking the other persons or other persons involved in the situation into account. So somebody who does whatever it takes to win, to be on top, to be declared the victor in a situation. It's playing cut, cut, cutthroat and in very cruel intentions and this can lead to lack of instability unhappiness discontentment within the relationship which is here with the four of cups with the four of wands this is it creates an instability right you're pouring more in they're they're taking and taking taking not giving anything back what happens to create the foundation cracks and starts to crumble and that's what i feel there was a lot of conflict arguments fights i do feel some toxicity okay i'm not gonna lie within this connection in the past. Now, it's not going to be true for all of you, but I do. I feel devil energy surrounding this connection because it was very one-way focused. And I feel like you sacrificed so much, Gemini, for this person that it finally, after a long and exhaustion journey, has led you to the Two of Wands, which was the card at the bottom of the deck. This was making a final decision. Okay, you made the decision. You hadn't acted on it. Currently, this is you acting on it because behind the two of wands was the death card and that's what's come out with the tower. So that, that foundation, that four of wands that we talked about, right? Now, whether this is a connection that you had in the past, whether this is speaking to a current connection, whether this is speaking to, you know, uh, a future situation, this is, you know, you've made the decision to see things in their true lights with the tower. So the lies, the manipulations, the trickery, the half-truths, the deceptions, everything that was built on a, on, a, on a false foundation, okay? Think of house of cards being blown in, okay? That is exactly this energy, okay? So the, that wind came in and it knocked it down to the ground. There's, and you decided to end and leave this connection. The Queen of Swords was here because you've used your wisdom with dealing with this person or, de or, or dealing with past situations, guys, um, relationships, and knowing what to expect. And you erred on the side of what's going to be in your best interest, your highest good. So you made a decision to end and leave this connection. You're barely, and I can't blame you here. Your person, however, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, they are feeling very unsure now, Okay on how to react, how to act. They're caught between the past and the present, the future and the current, and they don't know how to respond. They don't know what to do. They're trying to hold on. They realize now the instability that they've created, but here's the thing. Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, the Emperor. Both of you are trying to take control, okay? Now, I do feel manipulative energy. I told you, like, ugh. This has been very reeked with devil energy, guys. Very reeked with it. So I feel like your person is very manipulative. There's been heartbreak. There's been betrayal. There's been betrayal. Some of you could be dealing again with third-party situations, lies, manipulations, trickery, 
the lack of communication and truthful and that there's a, there is a deep coldness now um very detached kind of energy and i feel like with this emperor i'm feeling very much aries energy here um this is somebody who is going to do whatever it takes to win again this is somebody who is very manipulative in nature um there you uh, there's gonna be a lot of conflict i'm feeling too going on here currently um for you moving into the future i kind of like your energy here gemini because you have the Knight of Swords with the Lovers, your card, Gemini, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is telling me you're taking action. When it comes to love, you're feeling pretty good being single and on your own. You're not in a hurry. You're not in a rush. You're living in the moment and fully embracing yourself. That is exploring that self-love. Remember how we talked about loving yourself first? This is you doing exactly that. You haven't given up on love. You are just building the blocks, the building blocks of the foundation that you need to create stability within your life and your relationship. But here's the, here's the dish. The person that you were dealing with, okay, the, the magician, it's coming through with the magician, the eight of wands, the seven of swords, the seven of cups, and the chariot. This person is going to try to come in very quickly, okay? They're in a very manipulative nature. This can usually be a card. That represents, you know, manifestation and can be very positive, manifesting the outcome that you want, the desired effect. But this person, I'm not getting that in my car. I don't do reversals very often. My guides know what energies to bring with them to indicate what this message is. This message is somebody who is very, very manipulative, trickster, deceptive. Do not trust them. Seven of Swords is also here confirming that they've lied. They'll manipulate to get whatever they want. They're going to come rushing in. I'm not going to lie with you with this chariot. They're wanting to reconcile. They're going to come rushing in to communication with you. Um, it's trying to create confusion within you, okay? Because that worked in the past. I'm getting for some of you that worked in the past. They'll rush in, divide, deny their everlasting love. And, you know, I'm getting um, Knight of Cups energy. It'll sweep you off the feet. Romantic sweep nothings. Promises that will never see the light of day. Okay, they're going to try that again. And here it is. They're rushing in with their, their, their offer, their sweet nothings. Uh, Gemini, I love you. I can't live without you. You're my best friend. You're everything. I can't live without you. Please don't leave me. Come back to me, okay? But you see me through the BS this time with the Ace of Swords. You see the truth. There's truth and honesty and within your own attention. You see it. And because of it, you lay the burden down. You lay it down. No more. With this partnership, no more. You're not reconciling with this person. They gave me this as a reversal. And you know why they did it? To enforce that this will not be a reconciliation. There is new love on the horizon for you. There will not be a reconciliation with this person because they continue to manipulate. They want to keep holding you on. And they do this by triggering your fear. Gemini okay they do this so yes you still need to treat this person with fairness but you need to see the truth of it and then act accordingly all right let's get my possible outcome cards and any messages remaining for my Gemini singles if you're still here and made it all the way through to this point Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, singles looking for new love, new person, new situation, new energy. What additional message or outcome do you have for my Gemini singles? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. I have to three cards, no more. All right, so we get the Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So this is telling me that you're going to have a choice to make. Okay, there's been heartbreak and pain. You can either live in that and continue in that, or you can find balance within that Gemini going to be up to you you're at a crossroads you have the ability to build a foundation as long as you're willing to and only accept partners that are willing to give and be fair yes all is fair i love it um, when they bring those messages home as long as they're fair and they give back just as much as you okay do not over give give what's needed but don't ever give to the point where you did in the past where you poured all your love heart soul into a connection where you weren't getting anything in return Make sure there is return of your energetic investment. 
All right, for my Gemini couples, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, let's take a look at my Gemini couples. What is the message here? Anything last messages or outcome, please, for my Gemini's? For conclusion. Okay. I'm not going to take the one that fell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. All right. So here's your message. These do not go in order, by the way. Spirit is telling you this person's going to come in, okay? Very quickly, impulsively, hastily, as they always have. With that page of cups, I'm sorry, I love you, sweet nothings, puff and smack. You've been in this. You've been in this fight. You've been in this, this exhausting journey. You're the nine of wands. You're the wounded. You're the tired. You're the hurt. You're the exhausted. They're telling you, lay that burden down. Be brave and be brave and courageous and strong. Be in control of your emotions, your thoughts, your abilities at this time. Overcome your barriers, your fear, okay? Your fear, Gemini, I'm hearing fear being yelled at me, your fear. Because this has led to nothing but heartbreak and pain, very deep, deep pain. It's kept you stagnated and standing still and feeling rejected and lost and hurt. When you deserve the Ten of Pentacles, you deserve your universal abundance and a happy life. And you can have it. You have to move away from the trouble, okay? You have to move away from this person and all the garbage that they have always brought to you. This is stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something different so that you get the future that you deserve. This is moving from, from hard times to better times, okay? To calmer waters to things that are really, truly meant for you. It's taking the lessons learned and moving forward. And that is your guidance. I love that message for my couples. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What is the message for my Gemini's looking for reconciliation? Last message or outcome, please, for my Gemini's looking for reconciliation with an X. All right, they're, they're giving me a bunch here. So let's see what the message is for you. Okay, so there it is. The nine of cups. Guys, I really love this. This is all about exactly love yourself first. This is realizing your self-worth, your self-value, your self-love. This is filling your own cups up with love, having the support and the love that you need coming from within and from the people around you. This is not relying on another person to give it to you. Okay, so this is you realizing your worth. This is bringing in wish fulfillment. All right, so let's see what else is here. It's working on a plan, working on yourself, right? This is focused intentions. This is eight, nine of pentacles, feeling good, working on your abundance, working on your own stability, moving forward into new things and new opportunities, okay? I'm also being told, again, just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean that it's not going to happen for you. This right now, what you need to do, Gemini, is step into yourself, your power, your abundance. By doing this, by moving forward, it will create the opportunity that you're looking for. Some of you may even find new love along the way, and this person will no longer be in interest. But for others of you, if you want really reconciliation with your person, there's something that they have to do first in order to come together with you. And there's something that you have to do, which is realize your worth, your value, and really embrace your power from within. I love it. I love the messages, the ending messages for all of my collective. Whoever this is for, you're going to be brave and courageous and you're going to you're going to dish this person that's been nothing but a pain. All right, my beautiful Gemini's, please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If it didn't, check your other planetary placements. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Would love to have you part of the Cassarian Soul family. Last but not least, guys, Please stay safe and healthy, and remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.